Hello for everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was forced to make filet isala elu with lamb. My daughter's been requesting it for some time now and I've been pushing her one on aside so I can get um, the viewers. Uh, well, when I think about it, I can count her as a viewer too because she views uh, the videos that I put up. So I went and bought the ingredients today with my mom over there. And now I'm going to show you guys, okay? Mm. So first of all, um, we're going to need some lamb, eggplant, soy sauce, and this Maggi uh, seasoning sauce, onion, garlic, salt and pepper, and when it's vela, this is what I'm going to eat it with. Garo gao, ooh la 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 la. I bought that from the farm shop, guys. Yeah, got no time to cook it, okay? But it's all ready. So this is the ingredients, guys. Dark soy sauce, eggplant, lamb, I've got to chop that up. And that's it. So I'm going to start chopping everything up and then I'll get back. I've got to sharpen the knife, guys. The worst thing you can do uh, is have a blunt knife to chop your meat. Mm. So I gotta rinse this now. Anyways, time to chop up the meat. Yeah. Oh, pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Mm. You know what, guys? I don't mind. I'm gonna chop in some of the fat in it because when you fly the isala edu, fly the meat. Oh. See the, see the fatty bit? Right. I chop that in too. Because when you fillet it and it's sizzling, just delicious. But if you don't like the fat guys, leave it out. Leave it out. Hey. Wing a fair mebble lap. Gotta wait, watch. Uh, I gotta watch my my figure, right? Wait, just get some water because I like to put my chopped up meat in some water. So the same water that I'm soaking it in, that's the same water I'll be washing it in too, you know? This knife is so nice and sharp. So you gotta be be careful guys, you know? And you always must chuck in the bone. Right. Always gotta be a little dangling. <laughs> anyway, you let it um chuck in the bones. That helps with the flavour. And you know there's some people that love to chew on the bone, right? Yeah, me include. Hey uh in fact we won't yake up or hook away or be a bit go fatty for you leave yet. Now that's the bit. You chop up a bit off and you leave a little bit on. Is that right? Now that is too fatty. Some people, mm, but to me, that's a bit much. See, you chop up all your bits and pieces and then after that you're going to fry it. You have to cook it till the lamb is soft. Okay, and then you make sure you have your uh, isala elu. Isala elu is eggplant, guys. Yep. When I first tasted um, isala elu is when my mom made it as a child. I couldn't stand it in the beginning, but like everything, you gotta sort of get used to it. Mm? And now I love it. So I make it now and then when my kids were growing up. And the one that really loved it is my daughter Sharon. So she's at work right now, but mm, she requested uh, me to make this last week, the week before. <laughs> and I said, no. So I thought, eh, Galo Fai. She's always watching my videos. 
and now I'm, I'm not um, hearing her out. I'll if I may for if I may if I call you a your request I see viewers I if I may for anyway Sharon Lee I mean it I'm teaching you through this video how to make it so you got no more excuse to ask your mama to make it. Oi loa, mmm, o e fai, asomi, ai le kango e fai o kuka, fai o oe mea, e le ai a se se sa o e fai, ah ia, ui, ai se ilo ngoa, mmm, o e fai, I just, hey, uh, I just want to say hello to um, Vinny, Vinny Vlogs, Vinny Vlogs, he cooks as well, you know, well, he started cooking before me, you know. But go, go and check Vinny's um, videos out. Anyway, Vinny, he, he is uh, a Seven Days Adventist, like my mama. My mama is Seven Days Adventist. Okay, so I want to say Talofa uh, to Vinny's uh, grandparents. Malo, Talofa. I hope you two are well. Yeah. Okay, Alofa ya Beni, Ilova ya Hunga, Kamwa Beni, go see O Lua. So Swami, go see O Lua, my Alofa Fama Ongia O Lua. Similarly late, similarly late. The Vaino Oma Pua, my grandparents. Some people get raised by their grandparents, and you know, they end up having a really close. See, I'm taking off my gloves, get the fat off the. Uh, my mum's trying to make a noise like, um, talk about talking about uh, Vinny looks after his um, grandparents and to me that's a, a blessing that he will never ever regret, I don't think anyway, because it's a blessing, it's a blessing to have your grandparents around and be able to look after them. I never met my grand, look at me, blah 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 blah, so I want to follow your meat here, wait Laura. Onion now. You will get it for the onion. I'll leave this. So I'll just do half because it's a pretty big onion. So sometimes I like to cut my onion accordingly, you know? So this one, I'll be chopping it this way. Because I like to serve me some food to my mayo. And there's some dangling um, onions. I know. I know, that's in my mindset. Right? Oh, hang on. I like to break this up now. So when you chuck it in, you know. It will go and find its own corner in the pot, you know? Yeah. Now, do some garlic. You don't want to make it too garlicky. So they all run out like, they all, oh, I want to come too, I want to come too. They ain't. Oh, cool. Oh, you see, oh, cool. Oh, awful fun. Hey, do it. Lava, Tina, um, Sabrina, my Roger, your mate. Roger, Roger. I like chunky uh, garlic, guys. Hey, Laura. I had to turn the thing around so I can be looking instead of. Yeah. Eee, but it goes all a little. Yeah. Because my dad, when he used to make supper suey, he used to chop it up chunky. Right? And I tell you what, I used to protest like, oh, why is it chunky? You know, I, I, I was so nosy. Yeah, I was nosy way back then, and I'm still nosy now. <laughs> okay, why are you chop it up so chunky? Aren't you meant to batch it up? Because he used to batch it up with the, with the soy sauce bottle. So when I saw him started chopping it up chunky, yeah, he like got, got angry and he said, Shh, how are you? How are you face him here? Yeah, how do you want to fight? Oh, my poor daddy, he's right. Yeah, yeah, like a single single can come out. But I tell you what, when when younger kids when kids ask, guys, it's because they're curious. 
All you have to do, give them the answer, and they'll try to away. How they are too, how they are too. But if you don't tell them the answer, they're not gonna know, and they're not gonna know. And plus, who best to say the Pina? Yeah, so who best to um to help tell the story to than your own parents? You know, you explain to your kids thing. Oh, I tell you what, you know my brother, I've got an older brother, his name is Suli, Suliasi, in, in, in long version. <laughs> yeah, well, he, I noticed when his son was growing up, his son Raymond, he always had the time to explain. I was more the, oh, um, listen, can you go away, ask me later? But then when they come later, I'll go, I'm doing something else, and then I'll go, can you go and watch TV? But how are they gonna know? And I noticed my brother, he had a lot of patience to, you know, explain to his son, Ramon, um, things that he would ask. And I think, oh, I love my brother. And then I think, I should do that. But sometimes, nah. <laughs> Poor kids go, Mom, why the? Oi, don't even ask me about any maths thing. No. When they ask me about maths, I send them to their father. Because my husband, he's more the maths person. You know why? Because I think it's just in his genes to know maths. He's pretty good at maths. Pretty good at maths. He always goes on that when he was 10 years old in, um, in school in Cook Island, he proved the teacher wrong as a 10 year old. The teacher was saying no, and he said yes, and he, he explained how that certain thing was. You know, when it comes to mass talk, yeah, I'm a semi-old kid running, I'm your mass. Anyway, well, I know how to add up with my change when the shopkeeper gives it back, my change. I'll look at my money and go, now, did he give me the right change? <laughs> but my husband, no, nah, he's good at, he's really good at math. So his kids are good at math too. Well, there's only two that took after me. Oh my God, why? You know why I didn't know math? It's because no one took, my teacher, my math teacher, she knew I was no good at math, right? And that's the sad thing about it, I'll never forget. I didn't, I didn't know math stuff, I didn't, you know, and I still don't because I wasn't, you know, I know I can teach myself now, but um, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, my math teacher, right, she knew that I could, me and this other boy, oh, I think there was two other boys, we didn't know maths, and I tell you what, she only focused on the kids that knew maths, and um, she like ignored us totally, you know, she'll come over like, irritated, irritated that we even would dare question something, you know? It's like we're disrupting her class. But isn't she there to teach us that don't know those things? I mean, the ones they already know, hello, they already know. When you know, you know, you know? And here's us, poor us that don't know. And she's ignoring us. Anyway, I've got a soul. I'm gonna chop this up and get back, okay guys? I've already started chopping it up, guys. Um, it's up to you how big you want it, how small you want them. But yeah, about this size. So I ended up chopping three, all right? because they do shrink down a bit, you know? So, I mean, you can start off with a whole lot. By the time it cooks down, it's like, where is it? I swear I put some in there. <laughs> do you guys like um, eggplants? Some people just like, um, I like to like, put them on the barbecue, slice it down long ways like this. Right? And grill it in the barbecue. Put the skin on though. And then you put it on your plate with your barbecue and you eat it. Ooh, 
I saw um, people saying in the comment section that, that they've been cooking my food guys. You guys have been trying out my food and it's turning out. Whew. Imagine if it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but then I saw I saw um, a comment that said that um, they'll be learning of um, what I'm doing and then they'll be cooking it for themselves because they're sick of buying it from the island shops. Oh, you know what guys, I do not want to take away from the shops, you know, no I don't, this is not the reason why I'm doing this, I'm just showing you guys my cooking, you know what, the island shop probably cooks it way better, way better, but I want to know which island shop that is, okay, <laughs> anyway, so here you go, hi, it's a whole bowl of Isala Elu, okay guys, now I've got to wait for the meat, okay? Yeah. So the water's finally dried out, so you just want to put a bit of oil, okay? Just to have that, to sizzle out your, <laughs> sizzle out my, my nizzle. Yeah. So you just add not too much oil, because you want to fry your onions now. Ah. Yeah. So, fry the onion first. So you fry your onion so it's like caramelized down, and then you chuck in your garlic. Then you chuck in the garlic, guys. Chuck in your garlic. I bought my own pepper, but I couldn't find the pepper last time. So you, what you're doing here, you're frying your meat and your onion and garlic together, guys. So I just put a bit of splash of the magic seasoning, okay, and a little soy. And you stir it through. Mmm, now it's starting to smell. Beautiful. Well, it's gone darker. So that's the one I like. Now, I'm going to add the egg parts. I know it seems like a lot guys, but trust me, it all softens down to nearly nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's nicely put together. So I just want to put the, the lid on and let it cook a bit before I come back and stir it. See how there was a lot of eggplant but it's like sunk and done? That's what I mean guys, it vanishes. <laughs> See guys, that's what it looks like so far. So I'm just cooking down the eggplant and then it's done. I'm looking for me a drink. What are this? Passion fruit. What's that? Pork and steak. Mm. And what's that lovely thing back there? Mmm. I was talking about the water, guys. This is my daughter's fridge. I was 
wasn't tricky when I told you that it shrinks down to almost nothing. So that's like all done now, ready to eat. So it's all cooked, ready to eat. I just want to have a drink. Die the first. <laughs> Why do people say die the first when they only need to have a drink? Ooh. Cheers, guys. These gallows are pretty good, eh? Yeah, so handy when you've got the fob shops to go to to buy your food. When you're lazy, you don't want to cook at home, they'll do it for you. That's why you've always got to go and support your local poly shops, guys. I don't want to get burnt, you guys must start laughing. Okay, here goes. Sharing is caring. The meat's cooked good. The eggplant is cooked really nice. So is my chunky garlic. <laughs> <laughs> this way is well with the kind of cow. You see my onion that hangs? That's why I like to chop it long way. I love these ones. Here's the pine with the marrow inside. Beautiful. Mm. It's just too delicious, guys. Too delicious. Well, give it a go, guys. Give it a go. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Take care. One more before you go. Take care. Give it a go. Try it out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up when you come and watch my next video. And Sharon, yeah, now you know. You don't have to ask your mum. Mum, can you make me some? No, you do it yourself. Then. That's for you, Sharon. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave the pot here so she can come home and eat after work. Mm -hmm. Fast or four, guys. Take care. God bless. And always give praises to God, okay? Because i done my prayer before I did this. Before I eat. And, of course, you always got to say fast. So you take care. Fast or four.